If light is your dominant color code, keep watching because I have the perfect makeup recommendations for you. Well, hey friends, it's Dawn. Welcome back to another video. If you are brand new to my channel, my name is Dawn. I am certified in color analysis and as an image consultant, I'm also a Mary Kay independent beauty consultant. So on this channel, I'd like to blend all of that together and bring you amazing content that has to do with style, beauty, you know, fashion, makeup, skincare, all of that. So if you are brand new to my channel and you love all things beauty, make sure you hit that subscribe button and um, just keep coming back. I post every week. So we always have new content on this channel and again it's a mix of all different kinds of things and I have been doing a series of makeup for the color codes now I took a few weeks off because we had some new Mary Kay products with a new catalog and um, I threw a makeup tutorial in there because of Valentine's Day but the past um, month or so I have been doing a series on makeup for the color codes. Now, what that means, if you haven't watched any of the previous videos, the color analysis system that I am trained in, it's style by color, there are six dominant color codes. So our color analysis system is not based on skin undertone, it's based on your dominant features. So we have clear, soft, we have cool, warm, we have light and deep. And I have been doing a video for each of those color codes, Let you know which Mary Kay makeup shades are best for you if you fall into that color code. So I've already done four videos. Today I have makeup for light and then next week I'm going to finish out the series with makeup for deep. So if you're a light, I want you to keep watching because I'm going to have specific color recommendations for you. And if you're a Mary Kay independent beauty consultant, feel free to grab each of the makeup guides and you can use them as a resource to help you when you're doing your um, appointments with your customers. I also have customizable makeup guides where I can create a makeup guide with your information and links to your website. So feel free to check out my website for more information on that. But let's get started with the recommendations for a light color code as far as makeup. So a light color code has a dominant characteristic of a light. So what that typically means is blonde hair, fair skin, and light colored eyes. So if you're not sure, you can always take the online uh, color quiz. It's totally free. So I will link that below as well, but take that color quiz. And if this is you, then here are my recommendations for you. So as always, you wanna make sure your foundation, your powder, things like that match your skin tone. And then let's start with our brows. That's what I've been kind of doing is brows and, and going down. So for your brows, you're going to choose either the blonde or the dark blonde typically. So um, usually our lights have light enough hair that we're not gonna probably do a brunette. We're probably gonna stick with one of the blonde shades for the brows, whether you're using the pencil again or that volumizing brow gel. So that's the brows now for the eyeliner you can actually go with a lot of different colors for the eyeliner you can use a charcoal you can use a navy you can use a soft brown you can use um, you know you can use a black but really the recommendation is if you're gonna go between a black and like a charcoal like a gray go more with the gray that would be the recommendation um, but you can you know pretty much wear a lot of different shades of eyeliner now for your mascara um, um, black or brown, either one is totally fine. Um, most mascaras come in black, so that's, that's fine to do that. We also have a black, brown, and Mary Kay. Now let's talk about eye colors. So we have specific recommendations based on your eye color. So again, it's gonna be based on your dominant color code and then let's break it down into your eye color. So let me grab my little sheet so I can make sure to tell you the right shades because unfortunately I don't have them all memorized. Um, six color codes, three different eye colors per color code. Sometimes uh, I kind of know, but I don't know all the recommendations by heart. So let me grab my, my uh, makeup guide real quick. 
Okay, so if you have blue eyes, your best shade recommendations are browns, peaches, taupes, soft ivories. Um, if you have green or hazel eyes, you're gonna look good in browns and taupes as well, and also those lighter shades of plums and violets. And then for brown, black, gray eyes, um, you can wear rosy tones, you can wear peaches, shades of gray, and soft browns. So it's all about, with your light coloring, keeping the colors nice and soft and light. Next, let's talk about cheek colors. So for your cheek colors, you wanna keep them kind of light, natural, and so you can either go warm or cool. You can go with like a corally, peachy tone, or you can go with a pink tone, either way. What you wanna do is you wanna coordinate your blush with your lipstick. So if you're wearing a pink lipstick, go with a pink blush. If you're wearing a coral or peach lipstick, go with a peach or coral blush. Um, and if you're wearing a neutral lipstick, you can kind of go either way. Um, but that's a recommendation for cheek colors. And so for lips, I already said some of the shades, the best shades for you are those pinks, those peaches, the corals, and those kind of nude colors, those neutrals are gonna be really great for you. So just like with the other codes, you wanna match your lip color, like the intensity of your lip color. You don't wanna match your lip color to your eye color because we're not wearing blue and green lipstick, but um, you wanna look at your eye color. And if your eye color is really soft and muted, keep your lips soft and muted. If your eye color is super bright, intense, dark, go a little bit brighter or more intense or more dark with your lipstick. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna match the intensity, not the color, the intensity. So again, a bright eye is perfect for a brighter lip. So a great way to do a, a bright lip for um, a light is to pick a bright color that's also kind of sheer. So if you have a um, lip gloss, it's a great way to do it, or just like a beautiful pink that's bright without being too deep in intensity. Okay, now you guys have been waiting for the specific shade recommendations as far as Mary Kay makeup, because that's what we're all about here, right, is the Mary Kay makeup. So let's go back to the eyes. And um, so for the eyeliner, I would recommend the deep brown or the steely. And then a, of course, like I said, the mascara, you can go with either black or black brown. Now for the eye colors, um, here are a couple of shades that I recommend, recommend and then also have a, a look put together for you. Actually, I have two looks put together for you. I'll show you in just a second. So some of the great um, shades that you can use for highlight color would be Biscotti or Blossom. Those are really good shades as your highlight color. Now for your mid-tone color, I really like Hazelnut, um, also Gold Status, and let's see, Soft Heather, Smoky Quartz. Those are really great mid-tone colors. And then for your accent colors, um, rustic, frozen iris, granite. So here's the thing, depending on how light your skin tone is, um, some color such as granite, it may be an accent color for you, whereas someone else that could possibly be um, a, a mid-tone color. So it's really gonna depend on your skin tone. So um, the lighter your skin tone, you wanna keep those shades a little bit lighter, more muted. Um, if you have a little bit of a deeper skin tone, you could go with a little bit of deeper colors on your eyes. So those are some of the recommendations. Again, I'll show you the looks I built in just a second. Um, my cheek color recommendations. So if you're gonna go with that peachy tone, I love shy blush. I think it is perfect. I actually love shy blush because I feel like it has a great peachy tone to it, but it also has a little hint of pink to it. When I look at it, it looks like a good combination between pink and peach. So that would actually be my number one recommendation for you is the shy blush. Also, if you do want just like a pink color, I think darling pink and hints of pink and rogue rose are great options as well. Now, with the lipstick, again, like I said, the pinks, the peaches, the neutral colors. So um, my favorite neutrals for you are probably either the Naturally Buff or the Bashful You. Um, for the pinks, I like the Love Me Pink and the Festive Pink. 
And then the Always Apricot and the Coral Confetti are gorgeous. So for those um, corally peachy tones. Now for lip gloss, you guys know I love Fancy Nancy. I think it looks amazing on a light. Um, also that pink ballerina because it's that beautiful pink shade. That's such a gorgeous color. And um, the soft nude and the nude blush if you're gonna go with a nude color. One of the things I always recommend to my clients who are a light is to get two sets of makeup. So because we're gonna match the cheek and lip color uh, families, um, get two blushes and get two lipsticks. And then that way, if you want to wear kind of the peachy corally tones one day, you can. And then if you want to wear the pink tones one day, you can. And really a lot of times that might depend on your outfit. If you're wearing a warm color, if you're wearing a coral colored blouse or dress, you might want to match and have those coral tones in your makeup. And if you're wearing some pink or some purple, um, you know, shirt or dress, you may want to match with that pink lipstick and blush. So I think it's a great idea, depending on your budget, to go ahead and get two sets of makeup. So again, two blushes and two lipsticks, one from each color family. So that's what I've done here. On this side, I have that peachy tone. It is the shy blush. And then for the eye look, I have done biscotti, hazelnut, and rustic. And then this is more of a cool tone look. So we've got rogue rose, and then I have blossom, I have Smoky Quartz and I have Dusty Rose. So I think either of these looks would be gorgeous on a light and um, I'll show you which lipsticks I would pair with which one. So again, the Shy Blush look, let me show you which lipstick that I would choose to go with that. So I love this Coral Confetti. Again, it's bright without being too dark in intensity. So I love this Coral Confetti. This would be gorgeous with that shy blush. And then for this pink look right here, I have a couple of options for lips. So I like the Love Me Pink. This pink is gorgeous. It looks so good on a light. And then I also like for something a little bit brighter, I like the Festive Pink. And then of course, if you wanted to go with a lip gloss, I've got the Fancy Nancy right here. So that is such a great shade as well. Also, Mary Kay just came out with two Two brand new lipstick shades and I really like the think of pink I think that would look gorgeous on a light so let me just show you real quick a nude color that is good and it would go with either option of these looks so if you're looking for a good nude I like naturally buff and I like the soft nude with it so if you're someone that likes to layer a lip gloss over top of a lipstick these are a really great combination Okay, well that is it for my recommendations for a light color code. Don't forget to grab your free makeup guide and make sure you take that online color test if you haven't already done it. Um, but you can grab your free makeup guide at the link below and come back next week because I'm gonna wrap up this series with makeup for deep color code. Well, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and I will see you in the next one. Bye friends. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out these other videos.